time to watch ESL today. From the classroom and into the studio and back to the classroom, this is ESL Today, broadcasting from Anne Arundel Community College in Arnold, Maryland. And now, from his studio in the basement of the science building, here's Kirk Kalchewski. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of ESL Today. This is episode 48, and on today's show, we are going to focus on pronunciation and work with some tongue twisters, that and more, right here on this edition of ESL Today. All right, welcome back to the program, everyone. As I said during the introduction, today's focus is on pronunciation, and we're going to use some tongue twisters to help you with that, as well as rhythm and intonation. Let's go to the classroom. Pronunciation practice. Tongue twisters. Here are some examples. She sells seashells by the seashore. Round the ragged rock, the ragged rascal ran. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Whether the weather be fine or whether the weather be not, well, whether the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Now it's your turn. Listen and repeat, please. She sells seashells by the seashore. Repeat. Good. Round the ragged rock, the ragged rascal ran. Now you repeat. Very good. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Repeat. Good. Whether the weather be fine, or whether the weather be not, we'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Repeat. Very good. A little faster? Okay. Here we go. She sells seashells by the seashore. Round the ragged rock, the ragged rascal ran. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. Whether the weather be fine or whether the weather be not, we'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Very good. Hello, Dr. Discretion here. Did you know that during an average lifetime, a human will eat about 60,000 pounds of food, which is equal to the weight of about six elephants? My goodness, I've only eaten 30,000, and I'm past the halfway mark. Tammy, go out and get me 10,000 pounds of ribs. Quickly! All right, taking a look at the national weather map, the area in red shows record highs for this time of year. As you can see up in Vermont, the temperatures are still low. Here's a picture sent to us from our friend Jeff Guinness at Sugarbush Ski Resort in Warren, Vermont. Now taking a look at the local weather forecast from Arnold, Maryland, we head out to the campus of Anne Arundel Community College, where today the temperature is expected to get up to 40 degrees with a chance of rain at 80%, winds out of the east northeast at 10 miles per hour, and then Monday, high of 50 degrees expected, showers with northeast winds at 10 miles per hour. On Tuesday, temperatures start to rise, high of 60 degrees expected, morning showers, winds out of the northeast at 8 miles per hour. Now back to you. And that's our show for today. 
For all of us here at ESL Today, this is Kirk Palchewski saying thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time right here on ESL Today. Oh, hi. Sorry to bother you. I just had a question. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, you don't have to get nasty about it.